So Paso Robles uh, in the last 15, 20 years has started to gain an amazing reputation, not just in the United States, but worldwide for the quality of wine and the wine country experience that we're able to provide our visitors and residents alike. It's exciting for Paso Robles to see this type of national accolade that we're starting to hear from journalists around the country about how wonderful our Paso wine is and, and how tremendous the experience is here. So tourism is really starting to become an essential industry here in Paso Robles. And as a result of that, um, our residents get to experience a few different benefits uh, from the industry. The first one obviously being the tax revenue that is generated by visitors coming into Paso Robles. This goes into the city's general fund. They use that to provide essential services for our residents, including public safety, parks and recreation facilities, streets and repairs. Um, those are essential services that our residents benefit from. The second one has to do, uh, uh, it's kind of an ancillary one, but our visitors as they come to Paso Robles, they discover what it's like to live here and they discover the opportunities that are available here. And for many of our businesses that have started to come into Paso Robles, their first visit to Paso turned them on to what a great place it was to think about relocating a business or opening their company here. So that's an ancillary benefit that we receive, people wanting to bring their businesses into Paso Robles. And then third, we start to speak to the quality of life that our tourism assets bring to our residents. You know, our, our visitors support these great restaurants, these great wineries, the breweries, the shops that we have in our downtown square. Our visitors support that, but our residents get to experience it on a daily basis. And that's an, an additional benefit that our residents receive as a result of the growing tourism industry in Paso Robles.